Chateau de Versailles and I am at a Huawei D10 event and they're telling us, they're teaching us tricks on how to take pictures and whatnot. So it's been a very interesting day and I've just learned so much and Miss Sarah Black is here. So I'm gonna go try to see if I can interview her really quick and just ask her like a few questions. Hi everyone, so I am with Miss Sarah Black and I'm gonna tell you guys more about her later on when we get home but I just wanted to ask her some tips that she has about photography and whatnot. So I'm gonna go flip the cam so you guys can see a better view of her. So, hi Miss Sarah, what kind of tips do you have for you know, people who like to take their pictures or want to learn photography here? The thing that I like to highlight the most is really lighting. You have to find the best light for the subject that you're shooting. So I encourage people to go outdoors and make use of this really amazing available light we have out here in the Philippines. Uh, I'm not so much about shooting indoors in darkness because that tends to make people look old and drab. True. <laughs> so go outdoors and use the light. Yeah. So what? Just one more random question. I know you photographed like so many interesting people. Who is the best, or who's your favorite person that you were able to? Oh my gosh, photograph? that's so unfair. You should not ask me that question. <laughs> um, but you know, I get ask this question all of the time and my answer is always the same it's not about who's the most famous celebrity or who's the most awesome amazing yeah noteworthy person for me it's more I've shot so many people who have actually cried at the end of the photo wow. shoot because they've realized that they have beauty in them that they did not know existed before and for me that's the most touching that's what really sticks with me not the fame and fortune but just build helping somebody build their self-esteem. Wow, that's really nice. Like that's so touching to hear. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It's May 5, I wanna say I'm not really sure. I know it's a Monday, but I had a giveaway on my website or on my Facebook and I invited a few friends to come over and have coffee with me here at the coffee bean and tea leaf. So I'm gonna introduce you guys to them right now. This is say hi to Hey, hi. This is Griffin. Hi. And you all know. Hey. Uh, skip the flip. So go check out their, go check out his blog. And both of them are photographers, and he wants to be a vlogger. So we're teaching him about it. So. Yes. <laughs> so it's been like a really fun day, and I can't wait to tell you guys more about it. I'll do it soon. See you guys later. I didn't get to film anything because I was so so busy but it's done and if I will leave like whatever I need to leave in the description below so this is going on my monthly vlog and I hope you guys will check out their channels it was so much fun it was so yeah. much fun why is your why is it yellow because it's night time uh, okay. <laughs> I turn it because I'm old 14. it's the 14th it's half of the month and I never bothered to vlog I'm so sorry guys I just haven't really been in the mood but Anyways, it's the 14th. It's one. It's the first busy busy day that I've had since the month started. Thank God and um, Today I have three events. I am Going to the concept cove this morning to check out a rack there and well, you'll see it and Then just pick up a few items and then the second is I am gonna go meet up with 
someone from the Sprockets, which is a restaurant here in Cebu, because I will be having a workshop about vlogging and vlogging this coming July 15. So, I'm so fat. And then next, I have another pro mod event. So I got invited to go to the barracks, and it's basically like a place where you can play a bunch of games. Um, what games? I know that they have... They have... What do they have? They have laser tag. They have like, I don't know, um, some arrow stuff. You know what? It's in the PR kit. It's somewhere in my emails and my Facebook so that, and my private messages. I just don't really remember right now, but that's why we're here, so I can remember it and experience it. And I brought along my brother, my sister, and Casey's boyfriend. She has a boyfriend, yes. It's gonna come and tag along so all of us can play, and I can't wait to show you guys what's happening or what's gonna go on. So I'll talk to you guys later so you guys can see everything. Bye! That's all of us. <laughs> okay guys, so we're gonna play. This is my first time to play archery. I don't know if you, I don't know if you guys can hear me. <laughs> But we're gonna go kick some ass, which is the agenda of the day. Me and Casey. Hello. And our other teammates. Hi! <laughs> we're, I think we're team girls and team guys. Just gonna kick some ass. <laughs> 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 Hey guys, it's the first of the month and I'm with Casey. I haven't vlogged in a while. And look, I'm showing my belly off today. We're on our way to like the grand opening of the Urban Lifestyle, which is basically like a concept store. My hair looks really weird. I look like a man, but I'm gonna show you guys what's inside. Hi guys, it is July, July 3. It's July 3. It's a Monday and I lost my voice on the podcast last night. And well, I've basically been talking this entire week, so I think this is gonna be a constant thing of me losing my voice, but whatever. Um, today, we are on our way to Chevrolet, they are opening their service center for whole Cebu, and I'm gonna be there. There are only two vloggers invited today, so I'm very honored to um, have been invited to that. And then I'm gonna go have lunch at Radisson. Um, still for that event and then well the whole week has been dedicated to a globe event so if you didn't know um, I didn't know this either I didn't know that I was gonna be an event organizer but um, someone from Manila called me after I had been recommended by someone in Cebu and they asked me to handle a globe my business event so I've been really busy with that so I'm just gonna work on that the whole day and my week is dedicated to that but if anything in between happens I promise that I will vlog it and I have also kind of sworn to do a better job at this whole vlogging this whole daily vlogging thing kind of let you guys know what's going on instead of just like throwing it in your face so it's gonna be a lot of narratives and explaining myself and basically that's that so I have my trusty camera with me and we are Set for the middle of the day, so I'll see you guys later and see my kuya, Uber driver friend. Hey. Is pro uh, <laughs> he's, guys. he's probably wondering. Say hi. Hi guys. It's my second time to ride with him, and yeah. I can't wait to finish our conversation. So I just want to wrap this up. Bye guys. <laughs> About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away. To a place where we don't know. So I have fully transformed from a local coordinator into a host, so I'm very multifunctional. Say hi to Dee! Oh. Hello! Say hi, say hi, say hi. Hello! Hi! So, what's my experience? Am I fun to work with? Yes, of course. I love it. <laughs> okay, I'll show you guys the area. Just let me put my things down. I have to hide everything. I'm fat. Hold on. All right, do so I have a backpack? Wait, let me flip the screen. So, hi, you. Say hi to the vlog. Uh, <laughs> this is your vlog. Then? Yeah, I'll be hosting the event today. So, so multifunctional. <laughs> Hi, so let me show you guys around. And well, basically, as a local coordinator, I booked the place. I did not bring the tarp, please. I'm not going to take credit for that. 
I found the light and sound shares your passion, um, supplier. Your needs I spoke to the hotel motivation. about everything. And Where this is basically my setup later, and I'm going to be on stage. So this is basically what I'm going to be seeing. I will be speaking in front of around 100 businessmen and women from Cebu. I'm so excited about that. Oh my goodness. So thank you, Globe, so much. Hey guys, it's the day after my event, and well, I just really wanted to tell you guys a little bit more about that. Um, so I got asked to be a local organizer for the Globe event, and so a um, an ad agency in Manila contacted me, and I really wasn't sure about how I felt about organizing events because I really am confused at this point if I want to be a vlogger, a vlogger, or if I want to get back into the corporate world or just work, I mean, um, yeah, I'm just kind of trying to take things as they come and I'm trying to figure it out, but I've always said that as long as nothing or no one is getting hurt and I am fully capable of doing something, then I'm never going to say no because you never really know what happens, right? So I decided to take on that local coordinator position and I was also hired to be the host so that was really good and well I really love to host so I was able to do that and hopefully I am well that was a really good stepping stone for me to get in touch with Globe and I am hoping to get an ambassadorship from them fingers crossed and well that would just be really good for my brand and yeah so that was that and now it is a Friday work just never stops I realize that I have to be productive every single day otherwise if I give myself like too many days to be unproductive it's just gonna fall into like a downward spiral and it's just not gonna be good for me so I just decided to not really rest or take a break and just work just sketch it into work so today I'm pulling out clothes to do a shoot and then tomorrow I am shooting for my um how to style velvet items and then i'm gonna start working on my clips or my slides for this rockets because i am doing a giveaway or no i'm not giving a i'm not doing a giveaway i'm giving a talk and it's just a lot of things that i'm doing right now and you can see like the reflection of the tv through my glasses but definitely in between that i do want to cook paolo a good dinner because he has been cooking dinner for me since i've been so busy and I also really want to play Crash Bandicoot, so that is what I'm going to do. Talk to you guys later. Bye. So I'm done with my shoot, and now I am going to go hang out with Laura again. And I really need to rest and go home because I still have to edit the videos, but that was a fun day. Yay, thank you, awesome. Okay, so we've wanted to move for a while now, and I finally got the news that we got <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys around. These new houses, and it's just below where we live. And here is gonna be the outside area. So you can actually have a washing machine there if you want to one. And here is gonna be my office, so I'm gonna have a look. I don't want my neighbors to see me. And then this is going to be my thing. Ta da! Hey, there's an exhaust here. So I know that you guys never really saw where we and Paula live. Like, I never really gave you guys a tour. So now that we're moving, I guess it's time. Guys, it's July 15, and this is basically what I'm wearing to my talk later on. So if I didn't tell you guys earlier, I am, I'm trying to find the light. Okay, anyways, if I didn't tell you guys earlier, I am giving a talk with, um, or at the Sprockets, and it's basically just about starting your own vlog and a vlog. And I know that's kind of weird to some people, especially on YouTube, because how can I give a vlog, I mean, a talk about a vlog when I only have like 500 followers on, um, YouTube, but I am if you do follow me on Instagram or not Instagram actually But if you follow me on Facebook, I do make a substantial amount of views I'm just kind of having a hard time translating that into YouTube views 
So, but I do make a good amount of views there. So, and plus I'm under like a, a multi-channel network. So I think like I, I have enough information to share it on. And well, I think that Issa Please is a very, is a really niche market because I don't like doing challenges so much. I'm not, like I'd rather be like someone like Jen M who is awesome. She's like my idol and um, to the knives and the lineup. It's just something really subtle and classy. And I think sometimes on YouTube, people really like a bunch of like funny stuff and whatnot. So, well, I'm still going to stick to the content that I want. So, yeah. And I'm really nervous about today because I spent the entire week planning my slides and whatnot. But I'm still nervous that people won't show up. I have around, it is close to around 20 people. But Sprockets has agreed to um, just keep the area open and like kind of not um not really um what's the term i don't know what it is in english or not to turn they did decide not to turn anyone down but still you know there's that fear because the weather is not that great people might decide not to come because of the weather um some people just like might be joy servers or i don't know they might just change their mind and i had someone who was kind of mean to me on facebook about it which i don't really care about but um yeah so I'm just really hoping that everything turns out great today. Casey, who's my sister slash manager slash assistant slash everything, and her boyfriend and my boyfriend Paolo are gonna be there. So three's a crowd, and plus the two owners of Sprocket. So whether or not people show up, I have five shortcomers. So that's already good for me. But I hope this is gonna turn out well. You'll see it by the end of the video. So bye. Workshop. Here are some. They're over there. Some of the people who joined, but it's done now. But. Guys, we're at a very intimate CFB dinner with my friends. Jing, <laughs> 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 Hey guys, so we're downtown and I'm with my Tita Malu. Hi! Say hi. Mikey. Hi. And my Tita Butch. So they're all photographers from Cebu and Australia and we are shooting downtown. And I'm wearing this very beautiful dress. And if you're wondering where I got this, I got it from Brie. And if you're wondering where you've seen it before, well, Catherine Bernarder wore it. So yay for me. Thank you, Brie. We're going to go shoot now. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. July 28th. I know this for a fact because I'm looking at my computer screen right now and I know that I didn't do a whole lot of vlogging this month, especially like personal vlogs. I don't know if you guys are really interested in these types of videos, but I was just so busy because I was moving or well, we moved and a whole lot of events happened. So I really do apologize, especially if I'm combining June and July's vlog, but I knew I scratched myself. Now I can see it. And you guys can see like all the pores on my face. But anyway, today is editing day. And well, yeah, so that was the month. And I'll keep you guys posted next month. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm sorry if I really wasn't consistent this month, but things are gonna change. Well, at least I say that, but yeah. So thank you guys, bye. I'm gonna be there.